Derby week was a really good week around here in the Ville. Yeah. Rolled over to a pretty good month, too. <laughs> it actually did roll over <laughs> into a really good month. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon King and I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are sipping on awesome whiskey. Sipping on awesome whiskey oh, and so we sorry. are also going to give you our whiskey haul for the month. All right. So I think I've said this in a couple of videos. We're working on a Derby video. Didn't realize that the sound was all screwed up. So we're not going to show everything that we got, but we're going to talk about basically outside of Derby what we got. Ish. Yeah. For Ish. The part. For the most so, part. Uh, I guess I should go first, shouldn't I? Can I yeah. Take a sip. Yeah, take a sip. <clears throat> All right. So first thing I'm going to talk about, we've already reviewed these two bottles, so I'm going to kind of kill two birds with one stone with the Elijah Craig uh, Barrel Proof Batch B yep. and the Stag Batch 23A. 20 slash 23A. It's 23A. 23A. I'm really confused with these batches now because... I think we've missed a batch somewhere in there. There, we we never gotten nineteen around here. I don't think. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is like there was like a twenty four B, but I think there's also a twenty two A out there or something now. Twenty. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think they've been released in order. I think they were made and then just not released in order. Yeah. So eventually we'll get it. But eventually uh, yeah. we'll review it and talk about it. But there might be like seven batches that. Yeah. Out this Who year. knows? Whatever it is. I ain't nobody complaining. It's the good stuff. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and start as well with my Michter small batch. This is just came as part of a party pack mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, this is one of them that came this year. If you like Michter's, this is a decent, uh, low, like standard allocate. I mean, standard offering of this. So it's good stuff. I'm just going to say this with as many of those bottles that will be hitting our channel because of the other stuff we'll be tagging along with getting all that yeah. from Mictors, we'll probably be seeing a big chunk of that. Yeah. All right. For so sure. my next one, this will also be a two bottle. I'm going to talk about the exceptional series, a rare character. So we this did this in a video too. We have talked about it. Yeah. So this one is the Life of Lux, and then this one is, I think, the Lighthouse pick. Uh, Lighthouse Wine and Spirits. These are just fun and wild uh, flavors. Like, they're just, there's just so much flavor in them, and they're so kind of different, unique. Yeah, some are a little multi. Yeah. Some aren't. Uh, they come with this really great artwork on the end of it, or on the back side <clears throat> of it. And I, I kind of dig this. They're, they're starting, they're kind of starting to get a little bit of a cult following. Yeah. I don't want to say it's like, you know, like crazy standard of will it, um, but like they're, this is starting to become a thing. Yeah. And people are really getting into this. I'm really getting excited about the picks. I know a couple places locally that are getting picks. I know a couple channels that are getting picks. Here's hoping to uh, stay warm. So I think they're fun. Yeah, they are. They're definitely fun. Um, I don't know. This is a different bottle that no one's ever seen before. Um, just randomly saw this on a shelf somewhere. I was like, this is cute. What is this horse on here? Uh, no, I just got a Blanton's. So, I mean, it's as simple as that. I got a Blanton's. Not rare, not hard to find, not anything special. No, but I picked it up. Uh, man. So another bottle I got, and I got this actually uh, at the end of the month. This is the Evan Williams uh, Derby Festival bottle. Now, some of you guys might be like, what's so special about an Evan Williams single bottle or single barrel outside of the, uh, the wax? What's cool is this is not your standard 100 proof one. This one, I think this is 100, 119, yeah, 119 proof Evan Williams. They and proof it up for the Derby. They proof it up for the Derby, and it just gives that little... And they Extra. give you the cute little derby pin on it, too. Yeah, I can live without. Yeah, but I could, too. It would look, actually, probably much better without the derby What was pin, super but. cool about it, I've been down there trying to hunt for a certain bottle they did not have. And I just so happened they brought one out. They're like, yeah, it's kind of like our last one. Thought you might like it, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. That's super What's cool. What's the price on that? Um, You asked me a hard question, and I don't remember. Is it 80? I don't know if it's like... 
80 sounds about right. Yeah. But I can't, I can't remember. I can see because the new ones, I mean, the regular one's 40 something. Yeah. I, think I could so. see this because they proof it up and stuff. But if you're ever in Kentucky, there's two of them. I forget which one it was. I don't know if it was last year's, like 2019's, like the gold and pink wax, whichever one those two are. They're actually down there on Nulu's Tasting Bar. Cox is everywhere in Nulu, uh, down yeah. Louisville. Uh, go try them. They're, they're fantastic. Yeah, like for sure. Uh, my next one on the list is a Four Roses uh, OESO pick. Mm. Uh, this is actually just a distillery release. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach and I went down we did. one day and, and got them. You, if you know about Four Roses, you know you love them. Uh, you say you got this from Cox's Creek? Cox's Creek, yeah. yeah. Um, and so... Super excited about it. It was good. It's a good day. Anytime you can get an OESO, uh, to me, that's one of my favorite. Uh, that's one of my favorite sure. uh, recipes. Mm -hmm. I always game forget it. I don't care what tier it's on or whatever. Usually the OESO is is generally my jam. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, my next one on the list. I can't believe I've never bought one of these before. The Sagamore Spirits. This is the rum finished one. Um, it was Ooh, actually, are we going to review this? I don't know if we're going to review it or not, but we'll open up and drink it at some point. Time. I think we should review it. <laughs> so I think the more we review Sagamore, they might they might hear us and say, we want to send you some stuff. <laughs> you know him. Free whiskey. Free uh, whiskey! So what's actually really funny is I kept telling myself, I need to buy this. I need to buy this. And I didn't. Went in Total Wine one day, and this was on sale. It was like 20 bucks off. And I was like, sold. Yeah. Definitely so, so. Um, I don't think I've ever had this yet. I know I, I haven't had it. I, I was trying to sit there and look. I looked at my and notes I'm, and my and log and see if I'm I had hit, it. I'm hit or miss on rum finishes, mm -hmm. so I'll be interested because I love Sagamore so much. Oh, yeah. I think, I think <clears throat> honestly, it's going to be a great combo. Yeah, I but think so, too. Anyway, super excited about this one. And like I said, it was just a really good deal. Yep. Uh, the next on my list is the old uh, Jonathan J. Bowman and... We both happen to get one. Too. Yeah, we both happen to get one. Uh, I love it. Uh, I wasn't sure. I saw the green label a long time ago, and I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Well, you felt like it was a rye. I did feel like it was like. <laughs> I, I do remember. I was like, did you see the green label, John J. Bowman? I was like, is that a rye? All right. To be fair, he's not the only one. I, green I know a is lot the, of people. Green is the universal rye. Agree. Um, and, but it is just they relabeled John J. Bowman. So Agreed. Uh, right, I'm excited that, yeah. to pop this open because I've not had a green label one yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. I love the old label and let's hope, here's hoping I it's love good. the new label. It's good. So. All right, my next one. And this one is a bottle um, I've been looking for for a while. This is a Yellowstone uh, limited release, but it's, well, it's like a pick, I guess. So in the city of Louisville, at one point in time, there's been different groups who have tried to bring the NBA to Louisville, tried mm -hmm. to start up a franchise, Please. you know, uh, and everything else. I'm a huge NBA fan. He's a big NBA fan. Uh, we're such big NBA fans. We've nerded out and been in the same NBA fantasy basketball league for how many years now? Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a we took long a, I think time. we took a year off yeah. during COVID. Yeah. Um, but it's, been a, little, it's yeah. been a super, super long time. Yep. Yeah. Um, so anyways, the Kentucky, I think this was done by Kentucky Legends, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes. A um, bunch of people who have gotten together, try to raise interest. This isn't interest. the $1,400 bottle. That this is not the $1,400 <laughs> bottle. As the, like the, the scent of a 50-year-old bourbon in there and yeah. the rest of it's all five. No, not that one. That's like $1,700. Definitely not that one. Anyways. They did a pick with it to help raise money to, you know, for all this stuff. It's signed by a whole bunch of people. Super uh, cool. Is that Dan Essel? Right yeah, there. that is Dan yep. Essel. Um, I already had the red one that they did. I just hadn't had the blue one. Um, so I just, I wanted the set. Yeah. So got it off my buddy Jay. I appreciate it. Yeah, so. for sure. That's awesome. <clears throat> all right. Um, next on my list is the uh, Michter's Barrel Strength. Again, this one was part of the party set, and uh, I love it. It's really good. That's no, my it's jam. Awesome. No, I mean, they're, uh, they're fantastic. It, I was really lucky to get the set. I mean, honestly, for the for what it was, I 
I was like, realistically, I was the first one in line on uh, on Derby Day. It was Derby Day, wasn't it? When I'm, yes, it was. Was it Derby Saturday? I can't remember. I think it was Derby Saturday uh, when we went down there. Uh, I sat in my car until I saw other people come, but I, I was there earlier than anybody. But it didn't matter. I still got what I wanted to get yeah, uh, while I was there. So awesome. Uh, I can't wait to pop that open. All right. My next one. Wild Turkey 12 year. So you guys should already know how much we love this bottle, how great this bottle is. Um, yep. Here's what's actually really funny. So <laughs> here's what's funny. I just saw that he was selling some more of them today. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, no. It, go to Nee whenever it, if you are either you live in Kentucky, you live close to Kentucky. If you come and visit Kentucky, go to Nee. Nee has them for like 150 bucks, best price you're gonna find on them, and they're totally worth it. Like yeah. it's yeah. it's honestly like I, I cannot express to you how much. Yes, 150 dollars might sound expensive. It's a thousand percent worth it. So. No, but what's really funny is I know a buddy of mine who he got one for a friend and I work with said friend. Yeah. And he was like, they were trying to figure out one to me. I was like, well, I have a spare. I'll just give it to him. And so I went and gave it to him and then almost forgot about it for like eight months. Like just totally right. And he and my buddy, he reminded me, he's like, you know, I owe you one of those. I was like, oh, yeah, totally forgot about it. You're like, so, <laughs> you're like, just, well. Give it to me. Yeah, that's kind of what I, I was like. Well, just bring that. So, um, but anyway, so I did get this. And guys, again, I bring this up. So just to remind everybody, go to Neat. Because eventually one day they won't have it anymore. I don't know when that day will come. I don't know. Because I can't imagine they're trying to keep making this. It would be awesome if they did. Yeah. We'll um, see. We will we'll see. We will see. Uh, next one on my list is uh, the Mictor's 10-year bourbon uh we love this bottle mm -hmm. i'm happy i have it and i will be very happy when i actually pop this open and drink it uh because i've had i've paid for pours of it <laughs> yeah at the bar like three times yeah and so uh i i don't know when i'm gonna open this i'm worried about opening it because i feel like when i open it it's gonna be the only thing i drink on for three or four weeks they're super good and i'm gonna be sad I, that i'm out of it i feel like i feel like this one's just so special it, and i don't know how to like even compare it to anything else like right now it'll be fun at the end of the year to see what it does i i totally agree yeah um how many more do you have left do you have two yeah let's see here i'll bring this one out okay and, and you can bring bring that out <clears throat> jingle bells jingle jingle uh all right so as you can see we have three rare and limiteds uh the winter oak uh i'll be honest with you this is the best bourbon i've had all year so far it is sneaky it's it's pretty sneaky high and a matter of fact that's what we're drinking on yeah that's right true dave's like hey i'm gonna pour some of this you want some i was like uh yeah yeah uh, uh, anytime dave's pouring out of his own stuff uh, yeah. This was super cool. Aaron came down to Cox's Nulu. And, uh, Evergreen Nulu. Evergreen yep. Nulu. And we hung out there, talked mm -hmm. with him for a while. One, one of the <clears throat> coolest cats in yep. all of bourbon. Yep. Out of all seriousness. Yeah. And uh, they pulled him out and said, you want one of these? Yeah. And we said, yes, of course we do. To be fair, we got <coughs> this is the one I got. It, he actually signed. Yeah, he signed it for us. Uh, ours. He, like I said, he was super cool. And then I made a trade for this one. That's how I got um, it. Yeah. So he has two really good <laughs> bottles of of smoke wagon. I'm really super jealous. So, but I have drank on mine and will continue to drink. Yeah, on mine. sure. So, um, uh, is it, it's you? Is it my turn? Sure. Okay. Why not? All right. Last one for the list. Finally. Um, I have one more too. And you have one more too. Yeah. Uh, finally got my backup for my Parker's double barrel blend. I have been wanting one of these for a really long time. Uh, there's actually a really great story during Derby. How I did not get one. Uh, I was very frustrated about that story, but it's all right. It's cool. It happens. Still not upset whatsoever about that. <laughs> um, but I had been wanting one of these. I think this bottle is super special. I... I still, you know, I mean, it finished top top five for us last year. Yeah, it was top, top five, five, top six. Yep. Um, 
And I just think that, you know, Heaven Hill really just, you know, put the put the cherry on top with their year last year with this bottle. Yeah. I just I just think it's great. Yeah. Awesome. And my last one is the old stag. Uh, if you know this channel at all, you know that I've never gotten one in the wild before, mm -hmm. just at you know, at the cost of a regular store and stuff like that. Uh, got this one on Derby Day, was really happy about it, camped out uh, for just a little bit. Um, and there was a release at Evergreen Nulu, mm -hmm. and I had a choice of a lot of things, but this was the one that I was after, so this is the one I chose. And I'm uh, really, really happy about it. So tell us what you got for this month. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to know what's going on. I mean, what, what you got. Uh, and uh, till the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.